We're going to move into a sort of rugby or touch, a walking touch game. And instead of normal touch where we only have the one ball, we're going to have two balls involved. It's going to look messy to start off with. That's okay. Okay. If it does look messy, that's fine. That's part of the game. So we've got two balls that are going to be going the whole time. When you are touched with the ball, if you have the ball in possession, all I'm going to ask you to do is put the ball down and we're going to transition into the second ball. So the second ball is then in play. You keep possession if you were the team that had the ball and just had the touch, unless it was your last. And I'll tell you it's last. Okay? So we're going to play from the 15 meter line. The try line is our outline, the 22 is our outline, and then the opposite 15 is where we're going to play two. Okay, we're just going to walk, it's just walking touch. That's all you need to worry about. So this ball is ball number two. Let's play. Touch made there, ball down. Let's use the second ball, let's go, let's play off that. Good, second ball's here. You're allowed to start running now, okay? So now normal touch, normal touch, no more walking. Now we're actually gonna start opening the game up. There's the ball, there's the ball. Touch there, there's your second ball there. It's just a game, but it relates to the game. And when we play matches and stuff like that, we've got to be able to problem solve ourselves because you can't have coaches always telling you how to fix the problem. You've got to sort the problem out yourselves. Makes sense. It is just a game. At the end of the day, I know you're competitive. That's fine, that's good, okay? But it doesn't matter who wins that because that's just a warm up activity something you can take back to school, you guys can use before a training.